Well, Dealing with the Devil is part of this year's Dock Edge Film Festival. It features blues and gospel music, animation, an alter ego, and the fulfillment of a dying man's wish. Musician and filmmaker Phil Davison joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Phil. Hello. Yes, welcome, Phil. Lovely to have you here, and I'm looking forward to hearing you play a little bit of something for us in a minute. Uh, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I was a when I was a young fellow, I was a saxophone player. Like you saw on that clip, that was me playing saxophone way back then. And then I drifted into making films, then I drifted into teaching filmmaking. So I've been teaching filmmaking for 15 years or something. And now I've drifted back into music. And did this documentary find you, or did you find the documentary? Well, my friend, my friend Ralph, who you just saw on that clip there, he, he died. And as he was dying, I, he, I'd ring him up and say, should I come up and see you in the hospice? And he'd say, no, no. So what if I come up and interview you for a film? And suddenly he had an excuse. So I went up there and I spent two days interviewing him. Then I came back and I'm working on a project with my friend Sue Marshall. And, and I, said to, I was telling Sue about all the stuff I've got of Ralph. And she said, you've got to make a film with it. And I'm, I'm too close to this. So I said to her, what if you come on as co-director to give me a little bit of distance? And so we made the film together. It must have been nice to spend that time with your friend and your mentor as well uh, in, in his last days. Um, well, nice and... Nice and hard. Yeah. yeah. Like, like you, you had to do it. Yeah. And is it a documentary about blues and gospel in New Zealand or is it a documentary and a tribute to Ralph? It's all of that because, because you couldn't do one without the other. Um, to my view, way of thinking anyway. So it's, it's, it starts off with some background about blues and gospel because those are two genres that are kind of right next to each other, but they're opposed. You know, you've got your blues for your Saturday night and Sunday morning's gospel, and if you do one, you can't do the other. Right. <laughs> it's not a certain hour of the Sunday Saturday night where it ticks over into the next thing, is it? It's well, quite it's, different. It's, it's, when you, it's when your Saturday night starts going into the Sunday morning that you have problems. <laughs> <laughs> and you must have spent a lot of Saturday nights doing the animation, which, uh, which, which is in the movie, and that was all done by you. Yeah, it was just... Time consuming. Right. It just <laughs> took forever because you've got to draw everything and then you think, oh, another camera angle? I've got to draw it again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, let's take a look. Shall yeah. we have a look? If you stop taking them, you'll start seeing little green aliens. Oh. Now, if this was a real blues documentary, you'd see there'd be a shot of a needle going onto an LP record. And it would dolly back and you'd see me playing my Robert Johnson. Um, wow, that's very cool. That would have been time consuming as well. Uh, you've got a stage name, haven't you, Dr. Marigo? He's your alter ego on stage. He's name. my new personality. So yes. why did you create him? Well, when Ralph died, it's almost like I had to... The world needed that Ralphishness. And so I sort of filled the gap, as it were. So that was... That's where Dr. Marigo came on. And I started with that, that, um, that clip you just saw there. That was really the start of the whole thing. And because I, I created this character, and then I had to voice him, and I couldn't afford an actor, so I had to voice him myself. <laughs> and that's where it sort of developed, and now Dr. Marigo performs live, exactly. which was never the original idea, but it, it is now. Well, it's, it's a great tribute to Ralph and a great lesson in blues and, and gospel in New Zealand. Um, congratulations. But, of course, you've got that fantastic guitar, which I've seen in the documentary. Can you give us a quick, can you give us a quick whirl? Woo! That nice. is amazing. I could listen to that for a lot longer, but we're running out of time. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Doco looks fascinating. Dealing with the Devil plays as part of this year's Doc Edge Film Festival. It screens tonight and tomorrow as well. You can check out the Doc Edge website for details of this plus all of the other films to offer as well.